Hello and welcome to Thursdays with Annette. I am super busy and excited to be cooking you a recipe out of this awesome book number four. So if you want to win it, stay tuned because I'll be telling you how you can at the end of the show. But the recipe we're making is actually in the menu plan for the first week of the autumn challenge. That's right, the six week challenge. So this is what they'll be getting to eat on one of their delicious nights. It's Acapulco chicken. Love it. It's so easy to make, but it's just a little bit different. So, you know, it's one of those recipes that I find really easy to make and really easy to eat. So what do we need to make this amazing recipe? First of all, we're going to have our oven preheated to 180 degrees fan force. So you want two pieces of chicken. So you want two chicken, skinless chicken breasts that weigh 250 grams each. So it's 500 grams of chicken, but if you can get two pieces in whole, it really, I'll show you how you do it. It really is good for this recipe. We're gonna need green capsicum, we need a tomato, we need a large avocado, onion. We're gonna use the taco seasoning, that's the, um, the uh, reduced salt, because I like to look after your heart as well, so it's nice and healthy. We've got some no added salt tomato paste, some reduced fat grated, freshly grated cheese. We've got some chili powder and it's optional how much you want to put in or not put any in at all if you want and cooking spray. All right, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you how to prep up the chicken. So I've got these, you know, the, the little freezer bags you get, the large, and I've already done one. So there is the first double, bre the, the breast done. So it makes two. So I might just put it, in the front here and here is the chicken breast so what i'm going to do is because we're going to bash it down with our mallet or you could use a rolling pin or whatever you like but we're going to open it up to make it easier because it's quite thick the chicken breast so how you do it is you turn the smooth side of the breast down and then what we do is we're going to cut deeply into it and open it up like a fan. So um, like a butterfly you could just grow as well, but you don't want to go all the way to the end, all right? So what we're doing is I'm going in, make sure your knife is nice and sharp. And I'm going to just look how I'm going, open it up a bit. There we go. That looks great. Now I'm going to put the other top on because I don't want the raw chicken splattering everywhere. And then get your mallet or as I said, any rolling pin or whatever. And we just want to make it thin and we want two pieces. So you want to make it fairly big. Good therapy on those busy days when you feel like life's a bit hard. Get the mallet out and hammer away. I think that's looking great. Yep. All right, so now what we do is we get the knife again and I'm going to work out how to make it equal. So I'm going to do it like cut it in two. There we go. And then put this on your tray that's been coated with cooking spray. And any loose bits, what I do is I just push it together. Now this one's a longer, thinner one, but that's okay. It's called home cooking. <laughs> so there are your four bases to this beautiful recipe. All right, so let's get rid of this. Wash my hands. And now what we've got to do is just prep up the filling. And I'm going to just turn the chopping board over just because we didn't get any chicken on it, but it's good anyway. All right, so now what we do is we're going to make up the topping and this is what I love about this recipe is basically you put it all on top of the raw chicken so if you've got people coming for dinner you might find this a really good one because you can prep it up ahead and just cling wrap it and then when the guests arrive and you're ready for dinner you just got to throw it in the oven 180 degrees for about 20-25 minutes because the chicken is fairly uh, thin it doesn't take too long I love doing this one because it's just a little bit different because of the flavors I love avocado as well and so it makes it a little bit special and as I said it's out of book four and I'm going to tell you how you can win one of these books at the end of the show all right so we're going to do a half a cup of uh, capsicum 
and then we're going to do, let me just grab a cup. Here we go. My assistant. What were you doing, Billy? Where was my cups? <laughs> okay, half a cup of green capsicum. I might put it in this bowl here as we go. And I'll just save this for, actually I might, I've got a salad here, I'm going to sprinkle that at the top. Now we're going to do the tomato and we just take out the stem, stem, is that what you'd call it? Core. And we want half a cup of fresh tomato diced. Now, Acapulco chicken, it's just one of those sort of little bit Mexican-y flavours that um, I think just makes chicken a bit fabulous. But if you're not wanting to do chicken or what, you know, I make this a lot, so sometimes I vary it so people don't go, oh, not this again. <laughs> Basically eat it. You haven't had to cook it. Um, but you can actually change it from um, the chicken to rump, tofu for the veggies and even fish. Where are we going here? Half a cup. It freezes really well too, so that's why I find it really handy. If there's uh, and, and if there's just two of you or one of you, you could easily halve this recipe and then you just make two. There we go. Tomatoes in. Really working hard, aren't I? <laughs> now let's do the onion. Thank you for joining me today on the show. I love cooking for you guys. And especially recipes that are just a little bit different because, I mean, chops and veggies gets a bit boring after a while, doesn't it? Okay, so we just go in and everything's diced. So the tomato is diced. I'm dicing the onion now. Um, the capsicum was diced. And the avocado will be diced as well. I have this concept done in a few different ways, actually. Which, uh, because I love the idea of just, you know, chopping it all up and chuck it on top of the, the chicken and just cooking it because everything's raw when it goes in. And I like that. Very quick and easy. And I just tend to serve it with a nice salad. You could do for, if you want a, you know, a proper meal like you've got people over, I do new potatoes and I think they really like that. All right, so last thing we've got to do now is the avocado. Look, I've got to tell you, avocados at the moment are a little bit questionable. I mean, I've had a few disappointments when I cut them open. Don't you hate that when you just see a beautiful avocado, open it up and it's brown or whatever. One of the keys is looking here in the core here. If you remove it and see, I removed that and it's lovely and green inside. And that will tell you that this is going to be okay. But I just wanted to make sure, so I cut it open before we started and look at that. Now that's what we want to see when we're doing avocado. But as I said, if it's really brown or dark when you, you move the little um, core in the top of it, don't buy it. All right, so now I'm going to get rid of the seed, just tap it, move it around a bit and there it goes. I might actually get, um, oh no, I'll use this. We're going to use this avocado and dice it. You just need half a large, or you can weigh it and it can be 75 grams. So just get your big spoon, go around and lift it out. And I'm just going to, because we can, let's put the rest of it in there. And I find, um, actually, when I'm keeping that, I'll stick that stone back in, put that on top, cling wrap it, and it does keep the avocado a lot better, lasts longer. So there's a tip for you. Now we want, we don't want the avocado really little because it will mush up in the mix. So what I might do is I'm going to just firstly just mix the capsicum, the onion and the tomato. I mean it looks very bright and colourful doesn't it? But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dice up the avocado and just do it in strips and then dice. Just a little bit different than, uh, say, uh, a chicken parmi. And I actually plagiarised my own recipe. That's right. I love 
my chicken pizziola that's in book one. And I love the concept of, um, of you know, putting chicken on the top, I mean food on the top of the chicken. And so I did do this one because I thought, well, that's Italian, the chicken pizziola. Let's do Mexican. I've also done a Portuguese veal parmi that you might like. I've done chicken parmi because that's still on that concept of the raw chicken and the cheese and that, which is wonderful. And in the more cooking for one or two, I did a tropical chicken parmi, which is fabulous. But just imagine you're on my weight loss plan, loving life because it's so healthy and fabulous. I'm supporting you, I'm your mentor. And you look at the menu and go, oh, this is for my dinner and I'm gonna lose weight. Yes, fabulous. <laughs> all right, so, and that's only one example because you get all the recipes. If, for example, you think, oh, I don't have that book, doesn't matter. On my program, you get access to over 200 recipes. That's right. Okay. Now we're gonna make the final thing, which is the paste to go on top of the chicken. And that is uh, four, no, three tablespoons of the no added salt. Actually, I'll put it in this one. Three tablespoons of the no added salt tomato paste. And two tablespoons of taco seasoning. Now, I've got to put the chili in this mix. So this is, I want to show you that if you're not a big chili fan, then just leave it like that. But if you love chili as well, you could add a lot more. So we've got two tablespoons taco seasoning. Let's give that a mix. So you can see this is not a hard recipe. And I do think it's an easy one to prepare ahead. Whether you've got just your cooking this for the family or the mentoring program, you know, it can be done ahead raw and then when you need it just give it a cook it in the oven um, and it freezes really well too and if you're looking at this and saying oh i don't really like avocado well then do the Portu portuguese parmi or the chicken parmigiana or one of the other ones if you like because i think that it's it really is nice to have the avocado in this one all right we want an eighth of a teaspoon we're just having a, a little kick of heat in there if you like chilli, you might want to put um, a quarter of a teaspoon in. Up to you. All right, so now we have got everything happening here. Now, just if you're interested as well, the fat count for this recipe is 9.7 grams of fat, and that's mainly coming from the cheese. You know what I mean? Um, the rump is 13.4, and fish is 8.4. I've done this with fish a few times. I really like it with the fish. And for the veggies, let's not forget you guys, and it's 15 grams of fat because of the tofu. But see, we've done this when we've had uh, vegetarians over and we've been able to do some with chicken, some with fish, some with tofu. You know, you make the base, it's easy peasy, yes. All right, so now what we do is, so here's your mix. And I want that to go four ways. So I'm going to do a teaspoon on each, like a big teaspoon, and then spread it along. So you've got that beautiful tomato paste flavour, but with the taco seasoning in it, it just kicks up the whole Mexico. <laughs> All right. And if you win a, a cookbook, by the way, you will get personally notified, notified <laughs> by me and we post the winners' names up before the show for the next week. So that's how it's working now. All right, look, I think we are looking a bit fabulous. Okay, so now all I have to do is I'm going to divide this mix so that you get an equal amount over each chicken. And then you just put the cheese on and in the oven. So I go by handfuls. So I tend to think, okay, let's measure it by a handful. Oh, look at that. Yum. 
It smells so fresh. That's what I love about my recipes is that, you know, it's made not only with love, but with lovely fresh ingredients. And people appreciate home cooking now more than ever. And uh, it's got to be way cheaper than trying to use a lot of pre-made stuff. And this is a bit gourmet for me. I mean, you, you know, you bring the Mexican restaurant to your own house. And it's quite a good filling, isn't it? Like, see how much goes on it? Yum. Looking fantastic. Now, all I've got to do is, same with the cheese, grab a little handful, put it along the top. And I just spread it over. I rather be a bit cautious with the cheese and then I'll come back and add what's needed. Let's just put it out first. So everyone's got a certain amount and now I'm going to look and see who needs a little bit more cheese. This will take about 20-25 minutes in the oven as I said before and uh, it's really important that you have your oven preheated. Um, that way that it's cooking as soon as it goes in. Okay, and I did spray the tray with cooking spray before I put the first chicken breast on. You're welcome, isn't it fabulous? Let's go in the oven. Dinner for four. 20, I'm gonna do 20 minutes and come and check on it and just make sure that it's cooked and that. Okay, so now I'm gonna come back when this is all ready to go and I'll give you all the details on what I'm making on next week's show and how to win this fantastic book for. So we'll be back shortly. The oven's telling me the beautiful Acapulco chicken is ready. So let's check it out. Oh, it looks delicious. Look at that. How beautiful. Oh my gosh. Dinner tonight is going to be delicious. All right, so now I've got a salad here. And so let's put one of them on. Wait a minute, let me move that. It's a bit hot. Hold on. There we go. It's fresh out of the oven, so it's very hot. There we go. There is Acapulco chicken out of book four. I mean, who knew weight loss could be so deliciously healthy? And it's a guilt-free 9.7 grams of fat. Now, if you would like to win book four, and for those of you who have signed up for the mentoring program, remember this is in your first week. Yum! So if you want to win book four, I know you do, it's very easy. All you have to do is like, share, and then in the comments, hashtag simply too good. Remember, hashtag simply with a Y, number two. Put that in the comments and I'll pick three people. They'll be notified and the winners will be announced in the Facebook page. So there you go. So I hope you're a winner and you can get this amazing recipe in your belly. I know, we're very excited. It's fantastic. Now, don't forget, if you want any more tips or recipes or anything like that, go to simplytogood.com.au and if you're interested in knowing what's on next week's show, well, I'm delving into the new cookbook, More Cooking 102, so you get a chance to win that one next week, and I'm making the delicious Mediterranean omelette. Seriously, it takes an omelette to the next level. I love it. So I'm excited to cook that for you next week and show you how easy the recipe is. Now, don't forget to sign up to the mentoring program. It's starting with the six-week challenge on the 28th of February, so I'll see you there. Anyway, there's dinner done. Thanks for watching the show and I'll catch you next week. Bye now.